The statutory sick pay scheme aims to provide a minimum level of protection to low paid employees who have no access to an employer's sick pay scheme. It does, however, also apply to all employees. The scheme provides employees who have 13 weeks continuous service with sick pay for up to three days of certified sick leave per year. This increases to five days in 2024, seven in 2025, and a maximum of 10 days in 2026. These 10 days of sick pay per year are in addition to other statutory leave entitlements, including annual leave and maternity leave, as well as public holidays. Both full and part-time employees are entitled to avail of sick pay under the scheme. Regarding sick pay, employees receive 70% of their wage while on sick leave. However, a daily cap of €110 Euro applies. The scheme sets out the criteria for you to determine whether your previous sick pay scheme was more favourable than the statutory provisions provided. Employment contracts and sick pay policies must be reviewed regularly to ensure they follow the law. If you don't abide by the statutory sick leave entitlements, an employee can take a claim to the Workplace Relations Commission. If the claim is successful, an adjudication officer could award compensation that they consider just and equitable, having regard to all circumstances. However, the amount cannot exceed four weeks remuneration. This decision can also be appealed to the Labour Court, where again, the maximum compensation cannot exceed four weeks remuneration. To be eligible to claim statutory sick pay, employees must meet key criteria. They must have been employed by the business for a minimum of 13 weeks continuous service. They must provide a GP certificate confirming their unfit for work and indicating their expected return date. The leave must be in relation to a day or days when an employee would ordinarily work but is incapable of working due to an illness or an injury. Employers who genuinely cannot afford SSP can apply to the Labour Court for an exemption from the scheme. This can apply for between three months to a year. The Labour Court will look for an agreement between the employer and the employees consenting to such an exemption. The most important takeaway is that it's now essential for you to review and update your employment documentation so you can provide your staff with their statutory minimum entitlements. Doing so now will protect your business from any related claims. Mm -hmm.